Every year, severe thunderstorms strike the United States more than any other place on Earth. From destructive tornadoes to massive squall lines stretching for hundreds of miles, the United States is the best place in the world to catch a glimpse of these unstoppable forces of nature. So in 2023, I decided to drop everything and travel thousands of miles across America, attempting to document these incredible phenomena. This is my story of chasing the greatest storms on Earth. My first chase of the year started on May 4th in Central Texas, where I would chase these beautiful thunderstorms as they blossomed into the Texas skies. These storms were extremely pretty and photogenic, but for most storm chasers, the primary goal is to document a photogenic tornado, and a few days later, I would get my first chance. On May 10th, I would meet up with my friend and chase partner Chris in Northeast Colorado, where we would see these tall, dusty land spouts. Yeah, there's a tornado. Yeah, I see it, dude. I'm on the board. Let's go, baby. While those tubes of dust are technically tornadoes, Chris and I were still craving that close shot of a full-fledged twister. Thankfully, we wouldn't have to wait long for that to happen. On May 12th, Chris and I would race up to a large 5% tornado risk in eastern Nebraska, where we would come face to face with one of the most amazing tornadoes either of us have ever seen. Whoa, big time tornado, big time. The tornado started out as this beautiful cone before transforming into this massive quarter mile wide monster. It's right there, it's right in the field, like maybe a quarter mile in front of us. It's difficult to describe just how incredible a tornado like this is to see. You just sit there gawking at one of nature's most incredible phenomena, wondering how something so destructive can be so beautiful. Wow, dude, this thing's crazy. Oh, you don't say. It's not like there's a massive tornado on the ground right now. This dream tornado would cause no significant injuries or fatalities and is still to this day one of the most incredible tornadoes I have ever chased. There's down power lines, down power lines right ahead of you. Let's freaking go, Chris! Following the incredible North Bend, Nebraska tornado, Chris would head back to Colorado to take a short break from storm chasing. However, my season was far from over. On May 18th, I would find myself in western Texas watching this incredible sculpted supercell north of Amarillo as it spun for hours across the rolling plains of the Texas Panhandle. Although this gorgeous storm never produced any tornadoes, it would mark the beginning of one of the craziest weeks I have ever had since I started storm chasing. For the next several days, setup after setup after setup would take place over the same area between western Texas and eastern New Mexico, generating beautiful tornado-worn supercells tracking across the iconic landscapes of the High Plains and producing incredible displays of lightning and storm structure that seem to only get better and better with each day. Somewhere back in there, there's a tornado. But the grand finale would come on May 25th as this storm near San John, New Mexico dazzled hundreds of storm chasers for hours with its incredible display of lightning. But what made this storm so special was the structure. Beginning on May 27th, I traveled back to Denver where I would reunite with my chase partner Chris. Our first chase back would got us this gorgeous lightning storm in northeast Colorado. But the highlight came a few nights later as brilliant flashes of red light filled the skies. Oh, Ooh, sprite. That's one. These beautiful upper atmospheric discharges are called sprites and are one of the most incredible sights found in nature. Big Sprite. As May rolled into June, the active stretch of severe weather showed no signs of stopping, so Chris and I continued to chase together, from state to state to state, with nothing but the endless miles and completely unobstructed views of the greatest storms on Earth. 
Oh, yeah. Tornado warning. Tornado warning, yep. Really, bro? <laughs> <laughs> right in front of us, dude. Come on. Let's see straight up the mess up all the way up. June 12th would get us this beautiful supercell in central Texas, throwing terrifying bolts of lightning all around us. But after traveling for thousands of miles, Chris and I were eager to see another tornado, and we would get that chance on June 15th as a 10% risk for tornadoes set up in western Oklahoma. Two areas of rotation, one on the left, one on the right. Look at the right one, dude. Look how fast the right one's spinning. It's funneling. There's two of them. Wow. Oh, dust cloud. It's a tornado. Eventually, this isolated storm near the town of Raiden, Oklahoma, would produce this gorgeous needle tornado, dancing harmlessly in the open fields right in front of us. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Do I have to, I'm gonna launch the drone. Even though this tornado would never fully condense, I still consider it to be one of my favorite moments of the year. Here we are after the chase, got the hotel, but it's got a slight problem. Oh God, what do you think of that, Chris? Free snacks for later. Oh God. <laughs> As the end of my chasecation approached, Chris and I would find ourselves in front of this beautiful storm hovering over the rolling plains of Southeast Colorado. But as pretty as this storm was, it was nothing compared to what we would see the next day. On June 17th, Chris and I would find ourselves chasing in the Oklahoma Panhandle, where we watched this impressive supercell developing over the iconic chase terrain of the High Plains. The storm would strengthen, producing this rapidly rotating mesocyclone that we thought for sure was about to put down a massive tornado. But all we would get was this sad little bird fart tornado, which if we're being honest, is pretty lame. The main show came later that night, as the storms put on a spectacular encore performance which to me was indescribable. By June 18th, my time in Tornado Alley had come to an end, and Chris and I would have to part ways as I made my way back home to Florida. But my season wasn't over yet. After several weeks of pretty boring weather in Florida, I would reunite with Chris and travel to southern Arizona to chase the beautiful North American monsoon. During the summertime, a large-scale wind shift summons beautiful, high base storms trucking across the iconic desert landscape. But as pretty as these storms are, the real show is the lightning. After those incredible bolts in the desert, I returned to Florida and thought my season was pretty much over, but 2023 still had one last surprise. There we go. In the dark AM hours of October 12th, a strong, long-tracking tornado would form over the Gulf of Mexico and head straight for my hometown north of Tampa, Florida where I would attempt to catch a glimpse of the beast hiding in the darkness. Oh shit, I see it. It's right there. It's right there. I can see the tornado. You can see it. There it is. Crossing right there. Wow. Power flashes. 
This tornado would receive an EF2 rating as it ripped the roof off of several homes and partially collapsed the walls of a condo, but by some miracle, caused no injuries or fatalities. By the end of the year, I had traveled roughly 20,000 miles across the United States, chasing storms from the beaches of Florida to the deserts of Arizona. And although I only managed to document three decent tornadoes this year, I got to see more of this beautiful country and its awe-inspiring storms than most people ever will. And in the end, I couldn't have asked for a better year nor better friends to share in this incredible adventure that I will remember for the rest of my life.